In this episode of Art Talks with Adi Shills, we will be talking about three ways how moms with kids can make time for art. So if you are a mom and if you love making art and if you feel that you really don't get time for your art, then do stick around and I will share with you three amazing ways how you can make time for your art because I too am a mom of two little kids and I know what you're going through. So let's get started. Hey everyone, my name is Shilpa Lalit. I am an artist, art educator and an entrepreneur and a mom to two cute and super naughty kids. To know more about me or the painting workshops that I take or about Adishil's art brushes, you can visit my website www.adishils.com. Now before I share with you the three ways how moms like you can make time for your art even with your kids, I would like to share a little bit about the painting that we are painting today. This painting that we are painting today is called Peace and Happiness. Peace and happiness are not the highest goals in life. They are the most fundamental requirements. They are not goals. We just need peace and happiness to survive. So be selective with your battles. Sometimes peace and your inner happiness are better than being right, right? Peace does not mean to be in the place where there is no noise, trouble or hard work. It means to be in the midst of all those things and still be calm in your heart. So these are the things that I have tried to portray in this painting and I really hope that you will enjoy catching up the process of this painting in this video while I share with you three ways how moms like you can make time for your art and let's get started with that. So as I told you earlier, this is one of the most asked questions on my Instagram DMs as well. And recently when I saw this question under my YouTube video, I thought, you know, it's time once again that I give an updated answer to this. And I'm sure that you will find it helpful. And if you too have any such questions that you would like to ask me or you would like me to cover in Art Talks with Arishals, please leave them in the comment section below. I would love to take them up in the future videos. So the very first thing that I'm going to talk about is a total no-brainer. And please don't leave this video halfway just listening to that first point because that is what helps me the most. And please listen to me completely before leaving. <laughs> okay, so the first thing is time management. Yes, please don't leave me. We will talk about this and I'll explain you. Time management and planning is your best friend as a mom. You get those little gaps when you know and what's going to happen. You know all that. You know when your kids are going to nap. You know when your kids are going to school. You know when your kids are going to play with friends or just get busy on the iPads or mobiles or whatever uh, they want to do. You know those little gaps of time so if you just plan your day if you just plan your household chores or whatever work you need to get done if you just um, like plan all that as well and get everything done uh, before time or like in the correct time that you have planned so the little gaps that you get with your kids when your kids are totally busy with other things uh, some maybe online classes or tuitions or schools or whatever you can give some dedicated time to your art and to yourself as well now please don't tell me that you don't get even those little gaps of time because if you are watching this video i'm sure if you uh, scroll through instagram as well and there's so many little things that you must be doing in the entire day that'll just add up to the time that you can give to your art right <laughs> and i'm not saying don't watch this video but there are so many other things that you must be doing that if you make a list of and that if you just keep a track on you will feel that yes you can take out time for your art so that's one very important point and you should think about it and if you want to talk to me about this point then definitely visit our happy creators community page on artisans art academy it's a total free to join community but you can discuss your questions there discuss such topics over there and you can share with me your art and art that you have created from artisans art academy anything you like you can share it over there with not only me but the other members of happy creators community as well and with that let's move on to the second point which is delegation delegate whatever you can whenever you can without feeling that mom guilt you know yesterday only i read a quote shared by one of my friends on her youtube which clearly said that if my me time is good 
then our V time will be even more amazing. So to give that V time to your family, that V time to your kids, it's very important that you get some me time. And to create that me time for yourself, delegation is very very important. When I used to live in India, of course it was very easy to delegate over there. We have family over there. We have uh, the help of the maids over there. So it was very easy over there. But over here. When I live in Canada, my husband and I are each other's best support system. He gives me my me time so that I can do my work, I can have my things as well and I give him his me time. So we delegate chores with each other so that we can have time enough for whatever we want to do other than the strict time management that I really follow because still we have to do the cooking and the cleaning and everything that needs to be done right and without time management I will never be able to do the art that I want to do or the uh, business or my passion that I really want to follow. Also when I was living in Belgium at that time my husband was extremely extremely busy with his office work his office hours were very long so you know exchanging and delegating work with him was not possible so at that time I really used to go and seek out help from one of my very dear neighbor friend who I used to pay uh, to just you know take care of my little kids just for few hours and at that time I really used to get things done what I needed to be done so just just give yourself that guilt free delegation time guilt free is very very important in this now the third thing that I wanted to talk to you about is reject guilt from <laughs> Last point I've been telling you that you know have that guilt free time for yourself Then third point is you have to have to have to reject guilt because being a mom is just full of so many guilty feelings I did not give enough time to my kid or I did not um, Talk to him enough or her enough or I whatever you know There's a lot of like n number of guilty feelings we uh, go through as mom being a mom is like constantly going through that feeling of not doing enough for your kids so if you see these guilts are created by us only in our own heads beating our own selves i think it's strongly inbuilt to you know i don't think it's going anywhere so we have to anyways live with it but sometimes we should just force ignore that useless guilt that we have created by ourselves for ourselves so just reject that guilty feeling of taking time for yourself and your art. You deserve it for not only your sanity, but for the well-being and sanity of your family and your kids too. It makes you a better mother since you are mentally at peace with your own self. And you know there's a benefit to that as well. Because you gave that guilt free time or you know you've rejected that guilt to give that time to your love and passion for your art. You will also create an example for your kids to you know no matter what they have to do as the responsibility of their life if they take out some time for themselves for the things that they really love that's okay you will create that kind of example for your kids and i'm sure that will be amazing and that is actually so much more awesome to grow up with right okay so these were my three points of three ways how moms with kids can make time for their art and i really hope that you found those helpful which point out of all these three points was your favorite the point of time management or the point of delegation or the point of rejecting your guilt I think rejecting your guilt is a very very difficult for one for me and I still try my best to work on it's my favorite as well. So I'm just curious to know which one is your favorite and which one you would like to really strictly try and follow. Let me know in the comment section below and add your Instagram handle as well in the comment section below because the best answers i will publish them in the stories of my instagram and i will tag you as well if your instagram handle is there available in the comments with that being said if you would like to learn my kind of paintings then do visit my online workshops at www.artificialartacademy.com and if you would like to try the amazing amazing painting brushes that i am using then do check out www.artificials.com these are artificials art brushes and they work 
absolutely awesome for acrylic paints watercolors and oil paints as well and we also have an awesome brush cleaning soap that keeps your brushes or gets your brushes back to as good as brand new and it just smells like heaven so you got to check out that as well everything is available at artichals.com and with that i would like to take your leave over here before i go don't forget to subscribe hit that bell icon so that you never miss out on any such videos and if you would like to support my work what i share with you and this channel then please share this video with your loved ones on your social media facebook twitter instagram stories or on your whatsapp with your friends and family so i will see you next time till then bye and happy creating bye